What's up, cruise fans? My name is Bram, and I welcome you to Bram Seas Today on board the Norwegian Getaway and the Mediterranean. Today we arrived in Mykonos, Greece, and it looks like I'm getting another beautiful October summer day. Most people went off the ship to explore, but you know me, I stayed behind and I'll go later. I really enjoyed the tranquility early in the day. It makes me go... Ah, vacation. And it sets my mood for the rest of the day. Join me on this beautiful cruise ship as I sample and discover yet another amazing port. Today might be the last day of summer for me. We have a couple more days to go. So after this, uh, Italy is on the schedule. So one day at sea and then Naples and Florence before we uh, head back to Rome and it's time to go home. So I might do the same as I did yesterday, chill for a couple of hours. Maybe get into the pool and then in the afternoon head out for a stroll and uh, explore the harbor city here. So while I'm waking up, because I haven't woken up yet, gotta wake up quick, make up my mind, which is hard for me in the morning. First hour, brain doesn't really work. So chilling it will be for sure didn't book a tour I had my share of tours I had my share well not of tours I had my share of sitting on buses going on tours so there won't be any tours in Italy I can tell you that I think I've spent more time on tour buses the last couple of months with my mask on than I did anything else so let's see what today will bring. And off we go. Let's explore uh, Mykonos. It's like a 30 minute hike. So I'm going on foot. So that sea bus, the water taxi, could be a good option maybe on the way back. Show you guys what it's like. But this part I'm doing on foot. As long as it's not six or seven hundred steps. Oh, and here we go. That's eight. Those were easier though. <laughs> now mind you, the first ten were pretty easy yesterday as well. They call this part the New Harbor. And where we're heading is called the Old Harbor. <laughs> You can tell the pedestrian road infrastructure isn't the best. Pretty 
non-existent actually. Just keep that in mind. Wouldn't call it dangerous, just below average safe. <laughs> Great views though. Just watch your back. So we made it to the old port of Mykonos. Slightly less than 30 minutes, about 25. Welcome to how to discover Mykonos in under 10 minutes without researching the doggone thing with Ramses a day. I don't know if I saw all I needed to see, and to be honest, I don't care. It seems as if I unknowingly managed to get front row seats to the best view in town. This guy strolled right past me while I was here. Thank you. Time to head back into the maze. It does look like one, doesn't it? But it's not, trust me. All this is in a pretty small area. The old town of Mykonos isn't very big. It's hard to get lost, believe it or not. I must say, Mykonos took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting any of this. Sometimes it's fun going into someplace new without research. I might do this more often. It's hard to keep six feet distance though. You can be in a shop across the street and still be too close. Before I head back, I need a fridge magnet for my collection. My wife and I have a one rule, they have to be kitschy, so poor taste and cheap. That describes 99% of all the tourist magnets, doesn't it? Lucky me. Hi, how 
Ayo. Bus it is. <laughs> so as I'm filming the sea bus, it leaves. <laughs> This shot made me lose 30 minutes. It's half an hour waiting on the next one. Are they pulling away as slow as possible just to annoy me? Is he just rubbing it in? You idiot tourist you, filming the boat? Instead of getting on the boat, if that is the case, then he is absolutely right now that I think about it. So it's a 30 minute wait, I guess. Second thought, if the sea bus is every 30 minutes and I can walk 30 minutes, I'm walking. Don't get me wrong, it's not to save two bucks. Like what? It's the adventurous route. So it's back to the ship, back to cruising. Thank you, Mykonos was great I only had a taste but it tasted good I will be back for some more sampling but now it's back time to get back on the ship and just thought about this but I won't be back on land for the next three days reason being we have three days left, one day at sea, obviously, can't get on land, it's a day at sea, and then after that, it's Naples and Florence, but Italy has the law where as a cruise passenger, you're not allowed to go on land without a tour a guided tour that is so you cannot walk freely so the freedom part of my cruise ends today and I won't be going on land because I'm told you tired of sitting on tour buses at least beautiful country don't get me wrong guys it's amazing but I like to do this as well just roam around especially like cities like Florence and Naples it's nice to just wander around but not allowed no can do so I'll be staying on the ship did I just make that sound as a bad thing because it's not no problem for me. 
going to say I can do a week on a ship. I'm not sure about that. I sort of like need a break and a destination. Be able to go explore. But not necessarily on guided tours and tour buses. You know what I mean. And in the end, I think you guys are here to see the ship more than to see the ship and where it's going that's what i think because if you're just checking out the getaway you want to see what it's all about and you're planning on booking the getaway somewhere else in the world for instance the caribbean then it doesn't really matter for instance Caribbean then it doesn't really matter how much the sea bus is whether it's two euro or three you really don't care you guys want to see the ship well let's go see the ship And for the record, that sea bus did not beat me to the ship. So I just save two bucks and I get on quicker. How about that? It's coming though. Well, he didn't know it was a race. Well, I didn't play fair. And we're back. Time to get back into the uh, the mask on mode, which obviously we all hope will end very soon. Let's check it out. Camera off. This is this is a super highly secured entrance and they will not allow me to film the part where I show my cards as I walk in so see you on the ship guys I was allowed inside and now straight all the way up to deck 16 spice H2O because I'm in the mood for a drink let's do this now the only thing they want to see at the gates is your room card to prove that you're a passenger. No photo ID, fingerprints, cavity searches, nothing like that. <laughs> Which always makes me wonder, what could I film? That is so Hi, private and the, secret. Um, Stella, it's basically a parking lot with an open fence. Luckily, I am allowed to film myself drinking beer, but I won't. I'm turning the camera off for a couple of hours, but for you, it's less than a second. Time for sail away. Let's get this 145,000 gross tons off the dock and on the open sea. Let's get back to cruise and get away.
goodbye, Greece. And goodbye to you, wherever you are. Thanks for watching.